This video is presented by VoiceOver Article Haven't you ever had time you wanted to get away from it all? In March-April 1978, www.MotherEarthNews.com published a story about a couple who bought McLeod's Island a 90-acre island off the coast of Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, Canada. They have a few animals, spend very little on groceries, and are pretty well sustained by the island itself. Although it does present them with some challenges. The sea, you know, is not called restless for nothing. A glass smooth bay, as we've learned so well, can churn sometimes seemingly in seconds into a windswept chaos of currents and combers. We've also seen that same bay, the one in which our island is located, thaw and then completely refreeze in just hours on a single December day. Winters up here can be especially variable. Continual spring-like thaws throughout 1976 cold season, for instance, kept our bay filled with slushy ice that was too thick to push a boat through, but too dangerous for even a fox to walk on. We were marooned for three full months, from the 1st of January until the end of March. Last winter's record cold snap, on the other hand, filled the bay so solidly with pack ice that we could hike back and forth to the mainland for our mail and toboggan loads of supplies any time we wanted. For some of us, we find the internet gives us the freedom to be able to work and live almost any place we want to. These people didn't have that luxury. I use the past tense as I can't find any current information about them. Who knows? Maybe the tide swept the out to sea. Life is full of sacrifices. Some are just more dear than others. Still, I don't think buying an island is in my future. You can read the whole article here. HTTP colon slash slash www.MotherEarthNews.com slash library slash 1978 underscore March underscore April slash we underscore homesteaded underscore and underscore island. This video is presented by Voiceover Article.